Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Splunk tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn the additional functionalities which are associated with the search. We will use include and exclude operators with the search string. We will also see how to use a special character asterisk in order to perform the search. We will explore the option with the equal to and non equal to as well. And finally, we will see how to export the data of the search result. So let's start. In earlier lecture, we saw how to perform a search using a simple string. In this Splunk, we, we have another functionality search at the top level. Here also you can give the category or any other keyword and you can perform the search against the reports or the dashboard or you can have the additional functionality as well. If, would, if we want to search this category against the basic search then you can use this open category in the search and this will open the search under the basic search functionality. Of course, this will not work because the time frame is just last 24 hours. If you select the time frame for all time, it will show the result. So this is the search uh, we have already seen. So we'll see how to use include and exclude functionality. In order to use the include functionality, what we have to do is we can go to the any string. We can use either a parameters or the fields or you can use any string click on that and one a dialog box will appear it has the option add to string exclude from string and new search if you would like to include this particular string in our basic search string then click on the add to search if you notice the windows which we just clicked add to string got immediately included in our search string. So this means the category and windows, these two strings will be searched against the each event. And if it is found, then it will be returned. In order to exclude particular character or particular word, then what you have to do? We have to just select that particular word click on that and click on exclude from search so whenever we see the exclude the keyword not is prefixed with that so in order to include you have to just type that word in the search string in order to exclude we have to prefix or we have to add the extra not keyword before that word which we would like to exclude so include there is no implicit keyword but for the exclude not is the keyword which we have to use it. The next thing is how to perform a special character search. The special character which is used in the Splunk is the asterisk. If you use asterisk the word with asterisk will be search again the word with any other character after that so if i use category then the category one or category id all those words will be searched if you do not know the middle word middle characters then you can use the asterisk in between that as well so this search will also work so the special character in the splunk is the asterisk which can search against the all the character if you do not know those characters so this is about the special character let's understand about the equal to and non equal to characters first let's understand equal to character what i'll do i will just search a particular field type that is suppose source type and i will use access combined cookie so what this search is doing 
we are searching again the source type which is matching equal to with this particular keyword. If you do not know the full keyword, then we can just use the asterisk as like our previous search functionality and we'll go ahead and search. Now we can see all the source types which has the access as a prefix are captured in this search result. Now in case we would like to see the search which is equal to status as a 200 then we have to use keyword status and value equal to 200. So we are using equal to operator if you know these fields then you can use those fields with equal to parameters. So here we see this is the data set with equal to status as a 200. Now we saw the equal to. Now in order to see the not equal to that means the values are not matching then we have to just use the exclamatory mark before the equal to and search it. So the result set with a not equal to 200 are listed here. So this way we can use the equal to and not equal to parameters. Along with not equal to or equal to parameters we can add the additional search as well. For example, if you know some additional fields such as action, there are various actions available in the data set. Now we can see the action is add to card, action equal to change equality, action equal to purchase, action equal to remove, all those data sets available. If you want to use that particular data set like for example action equal to purchase, you can select it and let's run the search. Now on the same line you can add the n number of fields and parameters. So next is suppose we have the category code as a data set can see the category ID as accessory, arcade and all that. Let's go ahead and use the category ID as a simulation and run it. So we can leverage the equal to sign to search against the different parameters. Now we can see the results that contains the action equal to purchase, category ID as simulation, or the source type as an access. So this way we can search the records across multiple fields in the given result set. One thing here to notice this particular search result is nothing but a post call. In the post call we can have the several parameters those can be searched. So this data is nothing but the data which is captured for the access log. So those kind of data we are searching against the access log where equal to operators are more commonly used. The status is the nothing but the HTTP response so which will not be directly reported here which might reside in your response. Now we got the data. Let's go ahead and export this data. So there are two types of format in which we can export the data. One is the raw format which is the text format and the other is comma separated value that is CSV format. In order to export the data we have to go to this export icon and from the format we can select raw uh, comma separated or XML or JSON format. More commonly used are raw format and CSV format. Let's export in this both format. I will select the raw format, give the name to the file. I will just mention raw, uh, the number of uh, results you would like to show and click export and the raw format file is got created. Let's similarly export as a CSV. I'll mention CSV and search and export. We'll go ahead and open this file.
and we see the data is present in the text file. Similarly, we will open the CSV file. And now we can see the, the data is present in CSV file format. So this way we can export the result set or the search result.